The Senate Majority Leader arrived to a room full of mostly business executives and civic leaders, knowing there was a chance some infiltration of a joint chamber event was possible. And sure enough, as he spoke... And there's no question. Senator, we're not protesting the election. We're protesting right to work. We are protesting losing our health care. Was somebody else invited to speak? He quipped to nervous laughter. As he launched into an explanation of why he thinks Donald Trump won the election, interloper number two was escorted out. If you look back at the last eight years... McConnell told chamber members and media today, protesting President Trump's ascendancy is as American as apple pie. The fundamental problem is, as Senator McConnell phrased it, they're having a hard time getting over the election. They have every right to speak out. Uh, we're all hearing them. They've been quite loud and quite insistent uh, all across the country. And I don't think there's any lack of understanding of how they feel about various issues. On the issues of the moment, he says infrastructure initiatives and funding are in the planning stages. Though he'd prefer fewer tweets, he praised President Trump for trying to remove overregulation. The twin mountain to scale, he believes, will be tax reform and Obamacare. Given how partisan the environment is, as illustrated by my friends outside, we're not expecting any Democratic help on either of these major issues. Mitch McConnell also told this uh, joint chamber event today that as Senate Majority Leader, he sometimes feels like a groundskeeper at a cemetery. Everybody's under you, he says, but nobody is listening. He was pretty blunt uh, about where things stand, saying those who win set the agenda. Live in Covington, John London, WWT News 5.